You want to hear another strategy to help secure a lower interest rate? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Duke at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're talking about strategy number three to help you secure a lower interest rate. Lower your debt to income ratio. Your debt to income ratio is calculated by the percentage of your gross income coming into your home that goes out to pay your debt, your monthly debt. That's what your debt to income ratio is, or more so lenders call it your back end DTI or debt to income ratio. So you can have a wonderful, super high credit score and a great job and make a great income. But if your debt to income ratio is too high, that will result in a higher interest rate because it shows a risk. And the risk would be that you have too much of your income going towards your debt or what they call it is your debt is consuming too much of your income to keep it to sustain your mortgage. So what is a good debt to income ratio? Well, Lenders typically like to see, you know, 42 to 46 percent. The lower the better. 20 percent, 26 percent is fantastic. I have seen borrowers purchase homes with a 50 percent debt to income ratio, even a little bit higher. But those borrowers had crazy high interest rates. So work on keeping your debt to income ratios low or work on lowering them because that will help you secure a lower interest rate. Now, if you're thinking about buying a home and you want someone to help you create goals or look at your debt to income ratio so you know and understand what you're doing and what you're working on and towards, well, give us a call. We have resources for you and we're happy to help you through this process. We'd be honored. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video out for you every Friday and another strategy coming.